channel gaya na lagi ko sinasabi please don't forget to subscribe sa aking channel by clicking the subscribe button down below and the notification bell beside it para every time may bago tayong hanash notified ka in today's video as you can see from the title is a get ready with me for achieving an influencer kind of look yung mga influencer natin dyan sa youtube sa instagram yung kanilang mga um, dewy look yung kanilang mga glittery kind of look if you want to achieve that look, please don't forget to watch till the end and let's get started! Bago tayo mag-makeup, make sure na na-clean muna natin mabuti yung ating face. Nakapag-hilamos na tayo. Gagamit lang ako ng toner to double cleanse my face. Wala akong masyadong specific toner na ginagamit. Paiba-iba ako ng toner kung ano yung available dito sa house. This is actually from my sister and ginamit ko na lang din siya as well kasi ito lang yung available dito sa house. I wasn't able to buy my own toner yet so ito nakikigamit lang ako. This one is yung Skin White Power Whitening na toner. So after natin mag toner, mag double cleanse na ating face, I want to use this Castello Monte Bebiano Hydrating Facial Mist. This is actually parang a sample lang, hindi ko alam kung saan galing to, parang dala to ng father ko <laughs> from somewhere, so might as well use, use this one. And actually nice siya, parang kami siyang cucumber, so gamitin lang natin siya. After that, gumamit tayo ng sunscreen. Hindi pwedeng mawala yung sunscreen. Ito, yung gamit kong sunscreen ngayon is from Bello. Ito yung Bello Sun Expert Whitening Sunscreen with SPF 50+. Plus. So after everything, nakapag-tone na tayo, nakapag-moisturize na tayo, and naglagay na tayo ng sunblock. Let's now proceed sa ating foundation. Ang gagamitin ko ngayon is itong from L'Oreal Paris Infallible 24-Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. I usually go a full pump, one pump lang na itong foundation and then ilalagay ko na siya all over my face. And we're gonna blend it with a use of a sponge. This one is from NYX. our foundation, it's time for our concealer. Naglagay din lang ako as well na tong hair velcro kasi medyo naiinis ako dumidikit-dikit siya sa aking face yung aking mga hair. Gagamitin natin concealer today is itong si Maybelline New York Fit Me Concealer. Yan, medyo paubos na siya. Ito yung everyday concealer ko lang na ginagamit. I don't know kung tama yung aking shade pero I got this in a shade 20, yung sand. So, i-concel lang natin yung ating under eye at saka yung ibang mga gusto natin pagtakpan. Ito guys yung madalas kong ginagamit na concealer for everyday kasi actually hindi ako nanghihinayang sa kanya kasi feeling ko accessible siya and affordable lang siya. Madali siyang mahanap. So, ito parang pang everyday kong concealer. Actually pala, itong si L'Oreal Paris na infallible na uh, foundation. Favorite ko tong foundation na to. Gusto ko nang bangitin sa inyo kasi it's super nice and magaan lang siya sa face. Plus, it claims to have an SPF already na 25 and PA++ tsaka promises na fresh look lang yung peg niya. As in natural coverage, walang lagkit, walang bigat. So, I'm loving this one as well. As well as yung concealer ni Maybelline. So, i-blend na natin siya. Actually, kinausap ko lang kayo para mag-set lang ng konti yung ating concealer. Maybelline 
actually super mild lang ng kanyang pagkaka-conceal. Parang yung kanyang coverage is hindi ganun ka heavy or hindi ganun ka nakokoveran yung ating mga gustong coveran actually. Kasi ito yung aking pimple mark is nandyan pa rin kahit nilagyan ko siya ng concealer. Parang nakukulangan ako sa kanyang um, kakayanan na mag-conceal para mas makinis tayo, mas mapagtakpan pa natin, especially itong aking pimple mark. I want to use itong si Clio Professional Kill Cover Pro Artist Liquid Concealer. And then, mag-proceed na tayo sa ating kilay. I want to use yung aking laging ginagamit. Feeling ko, holy grail ko to. Kung tatanungin ako kung meron ako mga products na holy grail, isa to sa aking mga holy grail. Is itong si Kiss New York na eyebrow stamp. Lagi ko siyang ginagamit, guys. Actually, naubos ko na siya and nagkadurog-durog na siya as in super konti na lang. So, gamitin natin siya sa ating eyebrows. Pero bago ang lahat pala, iset muna natin yung ating eyebrows with the use of itong Sipan Stone Up Milk Powder. Gusto kong iset yung aking face after doing the eyebrow. Kaso, in this look, we'll be using a cream blush. So, maa-apektohan yung paglalagay ng ating blush pag sinet natin agad yung ating face. So, what I want to do is unahin ko na yung aking blush, which is I'll be using itong cream blush ni Sunny's Face. This one is in the shade Moon. So, gagamitin ko na muna siya bago tayo mag-set ng ating face para mas madali natin siyang i-apply. And what I want to do is gamitin ko lang yung aking fingers and itadab ko lang sa aking cheek. blush ang ating peg. So, finally, after putting the cream blush, pwede na tayong mag-set ng ating face para ma-secure yung ating foundation tsaka yung ating mga concealer. What I'll be using in setting our face is itong si Skin Potion. Ito yung kanilang glow dust in the shade Sizzle. This one has a para mga fine na glitters so that medyo glowy yung ating face. Parang dewy or yung itsura is parang mga glass skin peg, ganyan. After setting our face, let us now proceed sa ating eyeshadow. Ang gagamitin natin ngayon is, actually, this is not an eyeshadow. Hindi ako sure kung pigment ba siya or parang glittery eyeshadow. This one is from Beauty People. Yung kanilang um, Flash Fix Pearl Pigment Pack. Yeah, actually, pigment siya. This one is in the shade number 3, which is yung Glow Light. Ito yung gagamitin natin kasi, di ba, yung mga influencers na ating mga peg, gumagamit sila ng mga glittery or parang mga pigment or glitter, shimmer, eyeshadow and madalas nakikita natin na ganun lang or nilalagyan din nila as well ng brown or ng contour yung kanilang crease pero para mas madali hindi na tayo maglalagay ng contour sa ating crease what I want to do is to directly use itong pigment na to and this is actually nice kasi wala siyang shade I feel like wala siyang masyadong color, wala siyang masyadong pigment. Parang ang naiiwan lang sa lids mo is yung glitter which is yung parang peg ng ating mga influencers. Yung kanilang caris na glittery pigment or liquid eyeshadow. So, ayun lang yung peg natin. So, lalagay ko lang siya sa aking finger. Kumuha lang ako ng konti and in the dub natin siya, i-build lang natin siya. So, add glitters dito sa lower lash line 
if you want. Pero ako, I want to keep it that way. Yung sa taas lang siya. And then, after that, let's proceed naman sa ating highlight. Siyempre, kailangan meron tayong pa-highlighter para fresh yung ating peg. And what I want to use is itong si Mary Lou Manizer from The Bomb. Next naman natin is sa ating lips. What I want to use is this one in Girl Crush Fluff Matte ni Sunny's Face. Now on to the lashes naman. Um, hindi na ako magka-curl or anything. Gusto ko yung mga everyday and natural look lang. So ang gagamitin natin is itong si Maybelline Hyper Curl Mascara. Maglalagyan lang ako ng mascara, pero if you want, i-curl nyo yung lashes nyo, you can also do that. Pero since tamad ako and everyday version lang naman ng ating gagawin, maglalagyan lang ako ng mascara and that's all. So yeah, that's it. Ipa-finalize ko lang yung akin look and I'll be back. Guys, I hope kahit sa ating look, kahit pa paano is parang naging influencer tayo. Nakuha natin yung ating mga pegs, yung mga influencers natin dyan sa YouTube and sa Instagram. And yeah, I did fun on this video and I hope you did have fun too. Don't forget to comment down below and like this video. And subscribe ka na sa aking channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on my next one. Bye!